In a previous video, I showed you guys how you can use different boot logos for the Moto G4 Plus. And in this video, I will show you how you can create your own boot logo with your image or your text or any logo that you have for any Motorola device. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. So for creating the boot logo, you will need four things. First of all, you will need the Moto Boot Logo Maker, then the firmware of your phone for extracting the logo.bin file. And third thing is you will need images or you can have like an editing software like Photoshop to create your own image. You can use any editing software that you have and it would work perfectly. So first of all, we'll extract the Moto Boot Logo Maker and then you'll have to extract the logo.bin file from your firmware. So I have the Moto G4 Plus firmware. I will just need to open the zip file and there would be a logo.bin file. I'll have to extract it. Now I have the stock logo.bin file and I also have the Moto Boot Logo Maker. We'll quickly create an image that we'll be going to use as a boot logo. So I'll quickly go into Photoshop, click on File, New. And because I'm having a 1080p device, I will set the width as 1080 and the height as 1920. If you have like a 720p device like the Moto G, you will have to set this as 720 and the height as 1280. But because I'm using the Moto G4 Plus, uh, I will set it to 1080p by 1920 and then just click OK. So this will create a kind of a simple layout. You can put an image if you want. I will just write some random text and create a simple layout. So I just created a simple boot logo just to show you guys. You can add any image from Google or use any kind of photo editing that you want. But the thing that you should focus on is while saving the image. When you're using Photoshop, you want to save for web and you want to make sure that the size in this left corner is less than 40 kilobytes. You can use JPEG or PNG 8 if you want. And you want to select a balance between the quality of the photo and the size. You want to keep the size under 40 because if you don't, it will give you an error while creating the boot logo. So I'll just save it. So now as we have the boot image file ready, all we need to do is start the Moto Boot Logo Maker. And in this, you don't have to change any settings. Uh, you just have to go to file, open, and then select your logo.bin file. So this will be the stock one that I extracted from the firmware. I'll just open it. So now in this logos column, you can see that there are a lot of images that you can change. We will have to change multiple images to a single image so that we can have the boot logo be displayed as our image. So you'll have to click on each image and then click on replace and then select your boot image. You'll have to do that for logo boot and then for logo unlocked and then for orange, red and yellow. And then just make sure that all of them are replaced properly. So now everything is done. All you need to do is file, save as, and then save it as a flashable zip. So now the process is complete. You'll have to see the flashable zip. The flashable zip might have problems with some phones and it had problem with my Moto G4 Plus. So I would suggest you to extract this logo.bin file somewhere and then flash it via fast boot. I'll rename it to TB and I'll copy it to the same directory. So now you'll have to flash it via fast boot. So I've already showed you guys how you can flash it via fast boot mode in the previous video, but I will quickly do it again. If you want the full procedure, you can check out the previous video. I will link it in the top right corner. So you'll have to copy this file, then go to the C directory and where you have uh, set up mfast boot and you'll have to copy it there. Then open a command prompt window. So before typing this command, you'll have to connect your phone to your computer and then type the command m fastboot flash logo tb.bin. Uh, this would be the name of the file. tb.bin would be the name of the file. So if you have saved it as logo.bin, it would be logo.bin. If you have saved it as apple.bin, it would be apple.bin. So before you type this command, you'll have to connect your phone to your computer. And after you've done that, and when you enter this command, the boot logo will be flashed. And now you'll have the boot logo that you want on your phone. So this is how the boot logo looks on my Android device. This video's notification shout out goes to Pranav Saroop. If you guys also want a notification shout out, comment down below after you have turned your notifications on and I'll give one guy a shout out in the next video. 
make sure to drop a like on this video if you have flashed the boot logo that you want and if you like this video you can also subscribe to this channel for more content like this yeah.